Hello everyone, I'm Rob Goodwin of YourBostonSports.com, along with my co-host, John Korn. What's the date today, John? It's uh, June 28th. June 28th. <clears throat> baseball season is getting ready. I'm, I'm so excited about baseball season starting. Yeah, you know, you know, if we, if we go back to um, the back and forth between the union and the Players Association, part of me says they should have gotten it together a lot, a lot easier. But, you know, yeah. it's all legal, right? It, it's all lawyers. It's all contract. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. They they should have. Uh, yeah, I, I got. I, I don't know. I think I think uh, I think they better be careful. They might be playing in empty stadiums next year too. This this is like the strike, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> the you know they I... They're the only people I've seen. The only big industry I've seen. I've, I've seen anyway that seem to be completely tone deaf to this pandemic. You know, they, 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 I haven't heard one word from either side on, you know, what we have, some kind of sacrifice we have to make during these times. They're all, you know, just, it's all business, you know, every, every single bit of it. Well, would it be different if the, if they're, if the labor contract wasn't expiring after 2021? Cause they've got, they get, no. you know, they're looking at this, that they want to make, they want to show that they're strong because they got a, you know, a lot of bigger fish to fry coming up. Yeah, well, I think a lot of fans see greedy owners and greedy players right now. That's what they're looking at. That's how people. That's how people think. Yeah, you, know? you mean millionaires? I, I think they make. I think they made a big mistake the way they, the way they uh, presented this to the public. I really do. You mean millionaires they, fighting people, with billionaires. People forget quick too. You know, by next week, by, I mean by next year, people have forgotten about it. But yeah, you know, they didn't handle this right. Millionaires arguing with billionaires, right? Yeah, I mean, some guy making fifteen bucks an hour that got furloughed from his job. Is listening to a ten million dollar player saying he, you know, he doesn't really want to, you know, risk getting the coronavirus because you know he needs to get. You know, I mean, come on, yeah, shut up. Yeah, you know, some twenty five year old, you know, it, it, it doesn't look good. I I understand what they're doing. It's business is business, you know. You have to you have to come at them with everything you got, and the other side has to. But I don't know they just didn't handle it very well. But I find myself I find myself dismissing all the posturing. Sixty games, eighty games, ninety games. Yeah. You know, play through Thanksgiving. You know. Knowing yeah. that eventually they're going to come to some agreement because they had, they had the first agreement in March, which set up the negotiations, you know, and, and gave the commissioner the ability to go, I'm going to, I'm going to legislate when the season's starting, and that's mm-hmm. the end of it because we are going to play a season, you know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what, I think what will – now the next thing to play out from an off the field perspective is whether the players file out a grievance or not. That's going to really rub people the wrong way because that's going to go one more step where people say, you know what? Forget it, you know. Yeah. And the owners can file a grievance too, which I don't think they will. I, mean, I, I may change my mind by next spring. I may, but right now I don't. I couldn't care less. I couldn't yeah. care less what the, what the Red Sox do this year. But you know, it might they might make it interesting as far as yeah. watching games and the creative ways they do the um, yeah production. You know, did, now did you? This but may now, be the year. This may be the year you want to listen to baseball on the radio. Well, that's a good point. Seriously, you know. People say, "Well, it, it's working in South Korea." South Korea—that's not, th- 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 you know, that's not the same thing as Americans. You know, right, they, right. I, I, in a, I don't know about South Korea. In, in America, baseball and football, part of the game is the crowd. That's mm-hmm. part of the oh, game. Absolutely. They're part of they're, they're part of the, you know. It, so yeah, listen on the radio like you did when you were a kid. I can't even watch any of the late night shows without an audience. I mean, J- Jimmy Kimmel from home just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, it doesn't. You know, there's just that 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 different effect there. I, there's I something de- depressing about it. There's something like like when I go to the store and I see everybody with a mask on. It just it just yeah. There's something yeah. crappy looking about it. I don't I don't yeah. like it. I'm just yeah. I think most Americans are waiting for this thing to end. They don't give a rat's ass about the about the about the uh, about the contract. I mean, 2021. You know, they're not they're not they're not thinking about that. They're thinking about more important things right now. There goes really our. Old, I, I think there was, this is a bad. This is a bad way for them to handle it. Yeah, there goes our old, okay for children rating. <laughs> <laughs> um, and did you know how they're handling the announcers? How are they doing that? So, announcers um, will not be allowed to travel. So any of the the home announcers, which I assume I assume are on radio and TV. Uh, are only going to be at, at Fenway, well, you know, in, in terms of the Red Sox anyway, if the Red Sox are at home. If they're away, then mm-hmm. 
Dave O'Brien, Jerry Remy, Castiglione, and whoever his partner is, will be, will be uh, broadcasting from inside of a studio somewhere. Or maybe even be at home. Yeah. You know, uh, which, which has been done for international sports by a lot of networks, including ESPN, especially for soccer. You know, they, 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 um, they use sound booths um, at their location. And so that's been done before. I think they may have a roving reporter in, um, at the game. But I don't even know if that's like like Jamai, but I don't even know if that's going to be, you know, at away games. I have no idea. So it's uh, everything's everything's different. You know? I'm hearing I'm hearing a lot of people say, you know, that the, the the public is hungry for baseball. They're gonna they're gonna have a lot of people watching. I think the public's hungry for baseball that was before this pandemic. I don't think I don't think people are going to be that interested. I think in this. A, a lot of people are. A lot of people are hungry yeah, for baseball. I don't think they're no. Nah, but they like also. Latin. They're Not like a normal season. Going, yeah, they're also going to miss going to the games. They're also going to miss trying to interact with the fan, with, with the players. I think they're no. waiting for next year. Yeah, and if they screw this thing up with this, uh, you know, contr- uh, this, uh, you know, this uh, labor contract thing, they're. I don't know. I don't know. Well, and the problem is, what if a bunch of bunch of players get a, get infected or coaches get infected? I mean, you know, we have the Travelers Championship golf tournament, PGA tournament in town right now, and a couple of players have already tested positive and left. That's playing golf. That's just pro- you know that's liable to happen. You, you, some, there's going to be some positive testing, and they'll just cancel the season. Yeah, with it. Yeah, that's I, I would bet on that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then the so, NBA starting up again. The NBA starting up again. They're playing eight quote unquote regular season games to, to finalize the seedings. You know, and when play like three games in three games when? a day for a while. When are they going to do this? Uh, I I don't have the date. It's very soon mm-hmm. in, in, Orla- in Orlando. At ESPN, why rule the sports? And they're going to do the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, they're really close to each other, all those players on the court. So, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see how the, all, the, all the sports play out. They did have yeah. a race at Stafford Motor Speedway the other night, you know. Did they? Here in Connecticut. Was anybody in the crowd? Is, they allowed, was anybody they in? allowed 25% in the crowd. 25% really? capacity, yeah. Which I'm you know what? Surprised. Maybe they will. Maybe there will be fans at the baseball game. I mean, okay, August is is July, it's June twenty eighth, right? August twenty eighth is two months away. Right. Two months ago, Connecticut was one of the worst states in the country. The pandemic's almost gone in Connecticut, right now. We're yep. one of the best. We're the best one. The last I heard, anyway. Things can change fast. Sam Kennedy said he's not. Fast. Ru- Sam Kennedy said he's not ruling it out. People think right. things – I think people don't think – realize how fast something can change. Yeah, yeah. You know, an election or, uh, you know, people people tell them people tell what's going to happen, uh, you know, in November. They don't know. Yeah. You, you yeah. don't know what's going to happen next week. Right. So, you know, things like, you know, things like the, the, the pandemic could be gone. Who knows? Sure. You're going to have a vaccine. Too, I, I doubt it. But, you know, who, who knows? We don't know. True. So let's go through some of the changes. Um, yeah, yeah. Fosters. <clears throat> Have you read about all these, the roster situation? They're going to start with 30 30-man 30 roster or something like that? Yeah, they're going to start with 30 players the first two weeks of the season. Mm-hmm. Then they're going to drop to 28 players the next two weeks. And then, after that, stay at 26 players the rest of the season. Mm-hmm. Now, instead of a 40-man roster, they're going to have a 60-player 60, 60 roster. And those that are not on the active roster will exist on a taxi squad. And three players from that group can travel with the team. And one of those three players has to be a catcher. That's interesting. Why? Well, I guess because, you know, you only have two of them on a roster where you, know, you have any, any position player can play the outfield. And you have a couple of extra infielders, I guess. You know, you got, you, got, you know, I guess they view a position player easier except for the catching position because it's so unique. Now, the trade deadline is August 31st. The active roster deadline for playoff eligibility is September 15th. So remember, usually it's September 1st. Mm -hmm. And then they have a special COVID-19 injured list with no minimum or maximum stay. It's got to be at least 10 days. Um, While the 60-day IL will instead last for 45 days. So I think players have to test negative twice in order to get back on the active roster. The other thing is about salary, which who cares? Pro- prorated portion of the 2020 salary, which is about 37% for a full season. 
Now, runner on second base in a tie game <laughs> in the bottom of the 10th. Ridiculous. How much strategy do you think is going to play in there in that situation? Like, who, who, who is that last batter in the ninth inning? And who's that runner? You know, what's, what's going to, you know, how, how's, that gonna, how's that going to speed the game up? How in the world does that speed the game? You already got well, a 10th inning tenth game. If, if it's still tied in the bottom of the 10th, the, the uh, probability of scoring a run with a runner on second is infinitely higher than nobody on. Well, they just so end the game. What's that? You, who, yeah, whoever got the most hits that game, they'll just, they'll just end it, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's look, you know? <laughs> so, like, do you say so? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's. <laughs> in the bottom. Not even. <laughs> in the bottom line with two odds, do you put up your speed, sir, and tell them just put the bat on your shoulder and strike out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but maybe it'll make it exciting and interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they should implement some other rules, too. No spitting. Yeah. No spitting. Hey, what are they going to no do? No brawls. No ball girls or ball, or ball boys. No ball girls, no ball boys. What are, no spitting. You got to chase the ball yourself? Now, how does, the, how does the umpire catcher and batter stand within two feet of each other? How's that happen? No idea. You know? No idea. I got to wear one of those, you know, the things that like, when you go to the, when you go to the hospital, you got the, 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 you know, the breathing tube and the, you know. Believe me, if they, were, if, they, if they were a mask for nine innings, they're going to need, need oxygen the whole time. I can't wear a mask going to the grocery store or going outside when it's 80. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we have a little feature that we, um, we uh, wrote up. Why don't yeah. you uh, introduce that? Well, you know, we were thinking about different different ways they could, you know, they could make the game more interesting, speed it up a little bit, and uh, so some things that some things they might have to take a serious look at. You know, how how are they going to? I mean, are they going to have an MVP? Mm -hmm. They have a, a batting a batting, uh, yep. you know, batting title, home run title. I mean, how's that? Gonna, is going to be an asterisk next to it? Obviously, there has to. I be, have to. You know, yep. but uh, yeah, one of the things is uh, no no they got no they have social distancing. going to have brawls if they have a brawl. Well, so should we go through our top ten list? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so this is our top 10 short season differences in baseball. Why yeah. don't you start with number 10? Uh, no brawls allowed. Only social distancing, shouting matches. Number nine. You can't, you can't, you can't brawl. You can only yell, yell, yell the guy from six feet away with a mask on. <laughs> Play, uh, number nine. Players not, in the same, players not playing in the game, sitting in the stands, sing, take me out to the ball game in Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Mm. Number eight. Go ahead. Player is not in the game sitting in the stands doing the wave. <laughs> so there's no fans in the stands, so the players will do the wave? Yeah. Yeah. Number seven. A fly ball caught on the warning track with the wind blowing out, with the wind blowing in, is ruled a walk-off home run. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, All-star game. Contract incentives. Fudged about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. All star game any. contract. Forget about it. <laughs> Number five, nine wins. Enough for unanimous Cy Young Award. Oh, absolutely. I could that'd win be like uh, that would be like twenty five wins in a hundred sixty two game season. <laughs> JBJ will win the gold glove with five out <laughs> with five outfield assists. <laughs> ah, not bad, not bad. Number three, strained oblique, out for the season. Triple crown is one with 11 home runs. Hey. And, and, and 45 RBIs. Yeah. <laughs> and the number one short season difference in baseball, the record will be set with five 10-10 guys. 10-10 guys. Yeah, what an accomplishment. Even Jose Canseco couldn't do that. <laughs> you got – you 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 got a good chance of a of a quote unquote triple crown winner happening. I mean, at, at the at, by Memorial Day, you got a guy batting three fifty, leading leading the team in home runs. He you know levels out as the year goes on. What do you do with that? You got to you got to throw it out. Yeah, it can't it can't be a you can't really be any records going. On. There's always a guy that has ten home runs in the first week. Sure. There's always somebody like that. Yeah, probably somebody who plays in a warm weather climate. You know. Yeah. Or, or a team. A team is in first place, and they end up in last place by, by, by September. Cause they, yeah, you know, yeah. I hope the Baltimore Orioles win the division. I, I, hope, I hope the Pirates win their division. 
Yeah. And the Brewers. Yeah. Pirates, Brewers, Orioles. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, I, I want to see if, if baseball and, and basketball, for that matter, can get through the, their, the entire, you know, quote-unquote regular season and playoffs. That, that's going to yeah. be interesting, you know. I wonder yeah. how – I haven't looked to see how many NBA teams are truly out of it. You know, it's eight, you know, if they go 8 no. is it really going to make a difference as far as to get, you know, last place team getting the playoffs? And if not, do they really care about the season? I don't know. The thing I'm curious about is football. I mean, how many people are they going to let in the stands? How are they, they going to do that? I'm sure they'll have a football season. That's three months away, right? Yeah. Well, no, actually two and a half months away. It's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on what the curve looks like in, in a lot of places. Yeah. You know? It's gonna. It's gonna. Depend. I mean, if you look, if you look at what it was like here in the New York uh, tri-state area, it was horrible three months ago. Now it's almost gone. So yeah. It, it, yeah. if if they do the social distancing and the, and the masks and all that stuff, it could go away fast. Mm. Europe is gone. Italy. Italy was the yeah. worst country in the world. It's right, gone. Right. Right. You know. Yeah, I mean, you know, there are four states where they're saying it's it's, it's on the road to being contained, and Connecticut, obviously, one of them. Yeah. I heard Connecticut's the best state right now. It's, it's actually Connecticut. has the best as the, it, Connecticut's the best state as far as consistent declining in right. the country. Massachusetts and Rhode Island, Massachusetts and New, was it Connecticut, yeah. Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey? I think are the four right mm-hmm. now. Because it was so because it was so bad, you know they listened here. Yeah, you know, so maybe uh, Texas and Florida they'll 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 do what they they'll do what we did, you know. Well, unfortunately, they they. Um, they got to start doing it all over again. Right. You know. So, yeah. I remember, I remember the, the, the last time my wife and I went out to dinner in March. You know, they already had lighted signs up on the streets, you know, flatten the curve. You know, little did we know how far away from flattening the curve we were at that time. Far away, you know. I never, I mean, I thought this would be long gone by now. Yeah, and I told you, know, I think oh I told you I went to a concert March 5th. That was about the last the last day or close to the last day where you could, where anything like that happened. That, yeah, that was and, it. Uh, that was this even, week, a week from now is July. Ju- a week from now is July 5th. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking four months. Yep. Unbelievable. Well, so I want to let everyone know, you're probably noticing if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Uh, this is new. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All of our videos like this will be on YouTube as well as Facebook, Twitter, mm-hmm. in, well, I don't know about Instagram, maybe too long, we'll have to see, but, um, you know, please click subscribe in, in, the, in the lower right corner, the little red button, so you can uh, keep up to date. We hope to do these every, every, um, every once in a while, maybe more often than usual. Um, and I think we're, um, we got the technology down in the, uh, the Central Connecticut studio where I am, and, and John, you're in the Northern Connecticut studio. Northern Connecticut studios, yes. Yeah. So the technology is down pretty good, I think. And um, we gotta look for more guests. Got any more? Yeah, I thought I thought we see your friend Steve there. Uh, he, I think he's working today. Yeah, I think he's working today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Flanagan couldn't make it. I asked Flanagan. He couldn't make it. So um, you know, maybe we'll see us do a surprise guest or two next time. Yeah. So, well, onward to baseball. I know so I, I, my favorite. My favorite one is no brawls allowed. Social distancing, shouting matches. You know, put put your ma- make sure you have your mask on and be six feet away and scream at each other. I think that's know. the yeah. I mean, how, would Luke, how how would Earl Weaver how would Earl Weaver have fared in a, in a, in a pandemic like this? <laughs> He'd have COVID. He had COVID and be on the list. <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll have a, um, a special guest next time that that uh, we haven't had on before. How about that? Yeah. Hey, I don't know if you noticed. Um, a couple of days ago was Dick Drago's birthday. I wish him a happy yeah. birthday. Happy birthday, Dick Drago. Yeah. He's only 35. Imagine that. 35. Yeah, wow. he's like 35 again. Mm. He was the winner of the um, – the, the uh, well, back then it was the pennant, they called it, the American League Championship. Yeah. Game three. No, he, was he the winner or did he clo- was he the closer? He made the he he pitched the last out. Yeah, when they when yeah. they won in 1975 against Oakland. Against Oakland. Yeah. yeah, he was he was he was on a mound when they won that. So, 
And don't forget, um, we, we heard the sad news that Eddie Casco passed away. Yeah. Longtime Red Sox. Cool. He was a player one year, one year. He was a manager in the minor leagues. He managed Red Sox from 70 to 73. And so Daryl Johnson must have come after him. Yeah. So he was a scout. And he was, uh, I guess he was player development head, um, mm -hmm. instrumental in, in signing a lot of players that, that you know, went on to play, um, you know, key roles in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, he was the manager where they lost by a half game in 1972, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. That was a weird season. It, it, different teams had different uh, numbers of, uh, <laughs> of games. You'd never see that today. Right. They just picked up where, they where, the, where the season started, where it would have been. Right. right. They just picked it up where, where they left off, you know. Yeah. You know, it was a strike. Uh, I, for I forgot how long the strike was. I don't think it was that long, but, yeah, they, uh, they picked it up where it left off. <laughs> Yeah, that would never happen today. No. I'd file a grievance. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't see that today. There'd be too Half much, game. There's, too, there's too much big money involved in everything and it is, you can't you, you can't you can't make a mistake or or uh or do anything that could Yeah, yeah, you don't, you know. Yeah. Decisions are made by different different uh different sources now. If they lost by a half game, I would have filed a grievance as a fan. Hmm. Well, you should. Yeah, of course. Why not? Yeah. I they paid my had money. A playoff game that year. What's that? They should. They should have had a playoff game that year. Sure. You know. Absolutely. Yeah, they were in Detroit. Billy Martin was the was the manager for Detroit that year. Did you wow. know that? Yep. Yep. And That's they uh, that 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 postseason they were playing Oakland, and uh, Burke Campanaris got hit in the, in the leg. Of the, one of the one of the Detroit Tiger pitchers threw it threw at the. Uh, um, Threw a Burke Campanaris, and he threw the baseball bat right at his head, and he ducked. And uh, they let him play the postseason. They suspended him the first two first two seasons of the following year. Really? That would never happen either. No, no. We would have got a much much stiffer penalty for that today. Yeah. Throwing a bat at a guy's head. Yeah. Oh Billy yeah. Billy Martin. Yeah, Billy Martin coming out of the dug. He was. It took about five guys to hold him back. He was in a kill. <laughs> he was in a kill. Kit. It was great. I love it. <laughs> oh, the good old days. He was so colorful. Him and Earl Weaver. They were so colorful, you know? Yeah, yeah. Can't act like that anymore. You go to jail, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the police will be on the field, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we hope to do this, hope to do this a little more often. Thanks for joining me today, Corn. We'll see if we can get a special guest next time. So uh, go spring training. And uh, yeah, when does that start? In a month, we'll see baseball. When does that start, spring training? I think, I think it starts um, Wednesday. Okay. It's Wednesday. I think it's right. Wednesday. See what happens, you know. Yeah, exactly. All right, Corn. Have a great day. Thanks everyone for, jo everyone for joining. Everyone for joining. Hey, hey, check out check out um our podcast as well. This will be a podcast shortly, available on all the podcast apps: um, Apple, I Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Google Podcasts, some of the other ones. Um, it, it's it's on everything. It's on Plex. Uh, it's on Stitcher. So basically, wherever, whatever social media platform you use, we are there. Check us out. We are there. You Boston Sports. And, oh, and hello to all the members of our Winter Weekend Facebook group. We have five new members this week, and it, it's June. And it's June. We have five new members. So welcome to everyone. Hope everyone's enjoying the show and um, yeah. getting through these uh, very strange and strange, and strange, strange, times. strange times. Yeah. Yeah. Strange and somewhat di and, and, and difficult times. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Corn. Strange times. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks, everyone, for, everyone, for watching. Take care, everybody. Okay. I know. Bye.